Hey guys, it's your boy Michael with the H&M Reviews channel and today we're going to try to figure out why some Keurigs give an awful bad cup of coffee, especially when you put a pod inside, close it up, you get coffee and you have a bunch of coffee grinds inside the cup that shouldn't be there. A lot of people think their machine is clogged up and this and that, which most times it is. Sometimes it's not though. Okay, and we're going to figure out what the cause is. If you have a Keurig like this model, I'm not sure the exact model number, but this one here, you're going to make sure you want to unplug the machine when you're going to go into the internals of the machine. Okay, you always unplug it. You know, obviously, for obvious reasons, you don't want to be electrocuted. Okay, the obvious reasons usually are if you open up the machine let me see if I could get in there somehow see it and it does get clogged from time to time see the needle up there guys there it is you see the hole in the middle of the needle okay what you want to do is a lot of people put a paper clip up there this or that but I found this this is actually perfect for the situation I don't know where I received this where I got it but this, it actually works out awesome. You actually put it right in the hole. I don't know if you can see it up there. See how it's in the hole right there? You just plug it, put it in and out, in and out. Very slow, don't push it all the way back because what people don't tell you is when you push it all the way back there, you're pushing the clog deeper into the tube, okay? So just do it very lightly, okay? And what I also do is, which I don't see too many people um, showing you this, get a tube. I think it's a 3 diameter tube, a clear tube, okay? And what you do is you put it over, where is it? Put it over the needle, okay? Over it right there. See how it's, it's actually on there right now, okay? Now what you do is, you suck on the other end. I know it sounds disgusting, but, but suck on the other end, and usually... The stuff you pushed in with the um, like paper clip thing, the coffee grinds you pushed in, you can now like suck them out or suck out any of the debris that's in there instead of pushing it in deeper. Okay, hang on. Okay, I did have a restriction when I first started, and I now I'm gonna okay, pop right off. Okay. Let's double check again. Okay, there's the needle as you can see. All right. Also, if that's not your issue, if your tubes are not clogged, if you look all the way up there, there's a little rubber piece right behind the needle. That comes out. Okay, that's like a little, it's like an O-ring type thing. Let's see if I could pop it out and show you at the same time. Let's see if I can get it out. There it is. Okay, see this thing right here? This is your little O-ring type thing. See it? This goes up. That goes up like that. And usually, if you look at my fingertips right now, there's coffee grinds all over it because there's coffee grinds inside there, see? But usually that's not what causes the big clogs and the big, big grinds in your coffee cup all over the place. This will do a little bit of coffee grinds, but not a whole bunch, but you want to clean it out, okay? Go to your faucet. You know, do it really nice. And you want to inspect this little O-ring too. Make sure there's no cracks in it or tears, because that could be causing a problem too. Okay, like I was showing you before, this goes right over, right, right over it, boom, see if it's on, is it back in there, I think I got it back in there, let me just double check, bear with me guys, see the rubber pieces back in there now, okay, now, also, if that's not your issue, this piece right here, see this little basket? Okay, well it does snap right out, okay? Snaps right out, and if you look in there, there's little, there's little holes on the bottom here. See the little holes? You want to make sure there's no obstructions in these holes. 
So you could take that same paper clip mechanism that I showed you before, this thing, and just plug them in the holes. All four holes, because there's four small holes on the bottom here. And you just plug them in there. And then on the other side, if you look all the way in there, let me see if I can get to a light. If you can get all the way in there, you can actually see. See it down there? You can see the the needle. Well, there's also a hole in this needle too. So what you want to do is, again, it's hard to do with the one hand thing, but you get the picture. Take your little paper clip and find the hole. Find the hole. Oops. And that's why it's not good with one hand. But yes, with this, you find it, and you just lightly push in and out. See that little needle down there? There's a hole in it, like I said. You push the paper clip mechanism in and out of there, and loosen up whatever debris is inside there. After that, take a little bit of warm water, rinse it out really well, really well, okay? okay and just make sure you can see through the hole, you know? Make sure you can see through the little holes in there. And blow through it if you want. You can actually hear me blowing through the hole, and you could hear there's no obstruction. Okay? And also, if you look inside the empty hole where the basket once laid, you can see there is some coffee grinds in there. So you can take a little paper towel if you want, and you know, just go in there nice and easy inside the hole there, and just go around, you know, nice and easy, nice little areas. Don't get carried away. You know, because sometimes coffee grinds are in there too, you know, not many, but, but some. Okay. Oh, somebody got in trouble out there. Okay, yes, so now you can see inside. You can see up there too. Okay. All right. Now it looks really, really clean. Really clean. Okay. And we were having this problem. We actually bought a brand new one. We bought the brand new Smart. Keurig which and by the time you get home of course in a couple minutes you'll have a cup of coffee waiting for you which is very cool that's what sold me on this one but that's why I thought I had a problem with this model so I did all this stuff I did some research you know now I'm gonna make sure the lettering up here is in the proper area where you could see it or it's not gonna okay, you want the needle to be in the up position all the way on top like in the north position, you know, it's up there. See it? Okay, now let's just, okay, now let's just give a cup of hot water. See what happens. And I already cleaned this out a couple times before. I've, I've cleaned it out many times in the last couple weeks because, like I said, we thought we had a clog. You could also clean the holes there if you want, but usually that's not what's causing the problem either. The massive coffee grinds in your cup, that doesn't cause that. Yeah, and there should be a clean cup of water here. There's a couple of coffee grinds in there, but nothing too dramatic, because like I said, I already cleaned it. And also, if, if you want to go deeper into it, this top right here comes off. It's held in by one screw over here, you have to take the water filter thing off and being with the one hand thing I don't want to take it off put it back on but right here but I already took it off already okay so this comes off see comes off it's all it's held in by clips see the clips I actually broke one clip you got to be very careful but um but yeah it's held in by one screw and you take it out and you can actually see the inside of the machine with all the tubes and everything see the tubes down there and what I did before was you know I wanted to get I wanted to see if there was a obstruction and you can actually see the water going through the little tubes so I know there's no obstruction okay and it's working as it should it's working properly and so this was uh, but keep in mind this was after we got our new coffee pot I'm testing this one now because now I'm able to test it knowing I have a spare here now. Okay, so yeah, so so these tubes are not clogged because it would not be delivering like water, you know, if it was fully clogged. Okay, so 
Now, what I was doing is, the last couple of months, like I said, or the, but the last couple of weeks, I should say, um, I've been doing this, like cleaning the coffee pot out a couple of times before I make my cup of coffee. And usually when you put the coffee pot in, it's fine. But I've been noticing that when you get the Walmart brand coffee pods, for whatever reason, we've never had a problem with these before. Never, ever, ever, ever. But if you look online, many other YouTubers are saying that, that there might be too much air inside of these things. So when you put them in, when you put them in and close them, I mean, it's just, it's not, it's not quite sitting right in there. And a lot of other ones are saying that the coffee is ground way too fine. And it's falling through the holes inside. Like when it like creates a hole on the bottom and top, coffee comes out. Like unless it's just the recent batch of Walmart K-Cups, the great value, it could be. I'm not saying that's the problem. I'm saying it could be the problem. Because like I said, there's no clogs in this machine. We, we literally went into every obstacle of this machine. There's no clogs. So there should be no reason why we're getting a cup full of coffee grinds almost, I say every third or fourth cup we make, we get coffee grinds. I mean, I'm talking like, like, like almost a half of, like a half a K cup is all over the cup inside there. Like this is after we have a clean machine. So there should be no reason why that's happening. And like I said, we went online to look and quite a few people are saying that the Walmart K cup is is at fault which i can't i can't deny i can't you know i don't know i don't know if that's true or not but that would make sense because there's no other reason why this is happening okay and then this brand new one here today the brand new machine we um you know we put the coffee in you know we put the see this one has the five little the five pins up there or needles we put one in, we remote started it, we came in and there was coffee grinds in the cup. We said, wait a second, this is a brand new machine. This was uh, $241, I think it was, for this new uh, cured machine, the, um, the um, like remote smart one. And I'm like, wait, something's wrong. Some, something is definitely wrong with this. So we're assuming it's the, um, the Walmart you know, uh, the, the donut shop K-Cup, we're assuming it is because, like I said, some people said there's a lack of, um, there's too much suction inside the cup, and then other ones are saying the coffee is so finely cut, it's more finely cut than it usually is because they opened up their pods um, like a while ago uh, from their K-Cup from Walmart, and their K-Cup now from Walmart, and it's much finer now, they say. So, so they're saying that's what the problem is. Coffee is just coming out of the bottom right when the hole is poked but i don't know if you guys have a similar experience let me know but like i said now let's see what happens i'm actually going to try to make a cup of coffee right here see what happens because like i said sometimes this works out fine and other times it does not work out fine i mean this could be the cleanest machine let's see what happens I mean, usually the first cup after you clean the machine out is okay. It's usually the second or third cup is when the coffee cup is full of coffee grinds. I mean, totally full. You know, it's like, I mean, it's like the cake cup exploded in there, which is not the case, but that's what it seems like. Now, I think, I think this, this cup might be okay. Might be. But yeah, when you, um, usually when you go to the sides there, you can see millions of coffee grinds all over the side there. I don't see, yeah, I don't see much now. Let me just empty the cup. I don't want to keep using the pods up, you know, just to prove my point, but I'm going to use the same, um, let's see if, um, I'm going to use the same coffee, the same pod. See what happens? There's no coffee grinds in there. Let's see what happens. Let's see what happens here. Bear with me, guys. Yes, I know the pot is not going to be as strong since I used it uh, once already, but I just don't want to keep using new pods. You know. Yeah, I just want to prove my point to you guys. 
And chances are the coffee grinds are not going to come out now since this is the second brew on the same K cup. But, you know, it's more like a teacup now, you know. Let's see, is there any coffee grinds in there? No, I don't think so. Okay, now, just out of... Um, Alright, now let's see if there's any coffee grinds in this one. It's hard to say. No, actually there's no coffee grinds in here right now, I don't think. No. Okay. Yeah, this is... Yeah, like I said, we don't know what's causing it, but some people are saying it is the, the Walmart coffee K-cup itself. That it's loaded with fine coffee grind. Too fine. It's not supposed to be ground up that fine. That's in the latest batch of, of you know, K-cups. Because like we said in the uh, beginning, we have been using the Walmart uh, brand K-cups for a couple of years now. And we've never had an issue with them. Never. Never, never, never. Just the last, uh, usually we, we buy the case of 96, the big box, and in the last box, we had the problem. And like I said, we thought it was the actual Keurig machine, but, but obviously it's not because we know there's no clogs in the machine. Let's see if there's any coffee grinds in there. But, but usually if I do this, you can see coffee grinds all over the sides. It's not that bad right now. So yeah. So yeah, so right now it's not happening on camera, naturally. You know how that works, that's Murphy's Law for you. But yeah, um, you know, so we don't know. We, I mean, chances are it could be the K-Cups because like I said, there's no, there's no clogs in this machine. No clogs, but it did force us to get the second one here and we did have the same problem with this one on one K-Cup of like Walmart's K-Cups. We've had one problem and we just got this not too long ago. About a week maybe, a little bit over a week. We got this one here and um, like recently we put a K-Cup in and there was coffee grinds all on the side of the cup. And we really shouldn't have to be cleaning out the, the Keurig like after every cup of coffee to clean it out with hot water. That shouldn't be happening. You know, because I heard a couple of people say, well, clean the machine out, of, of course, after every cup. Why? why? Well, that, well, that defeats the whole purpose. I mean, why would we do that? But I could see, like, cleaning the machine out after, you know, like every week or so, or like two weeks, then clean the machine out with hot water. You know, yeah, that's fine. But after every cup of coffee you make, you got to clean it out with hot water. That's crazy. I mean, in my eyes, you know. I mean, for a machine that costs uh, 200 and something dollars, you wouldn't think you would have to do that, you know. But yeah, but this one here, you know, I mean, there's nothing wrong with this machine. We thought there was, like I said, but there's not since we, we showed you all the little tricks on how to clean it, you know. Again, there's little needles up here, you know, there's the needle right up there here. It's hard to see without the light. There's a needle right there, okay, and then you take this little paper clip instrument type looking thing and you go up into the pin. And just go up and down nice and slow. You go up nice and slow and loosen whatever coffee grinds are up there. Then instead of pushing the coffee grinds all the way deeper in, you take a 3 16th hose diameter and you put it right over, right over the pin. You see? Right over it up there. And oops. Yeah, the one hand. Sorry, guys. And now you could suck the stuff out. Instead of pushing it deeper in, you could you could suck it out. And there is no constriction in there right now because I would feel it when I'm sucking. And and also you can also clean the um, the O-ring up there because coffee grinds get all inside of it and all over it. And around it you got to clean that out clean the basket part out like I showed you before these are the common things that cause your your Keurig to clog okay and when all else fails like I said you could take the top off this top piece off and look at the you know look at the little tubes in there and see and brew a hot water cycle and see if the water is flowing through those tubes freely. 
If it is, chances are you do not have a, a restriction in there. Okay, but yeah, um, like I said, we've used a couple other pods, not the Walmart brand, and this works fine. So either it's coincidental that the K-Cups from Walmart are, are not working, or we don't know. But, but if you look on YouTube, you will see a couple other YouTubers, well, uh, quite a few, have been complaining about the Walmart K-Cups. Okay, and you'll see it on there. They're saying that the coffee grinds are are grinded way too fine and The coffee grinds are actually falling out the bottom of the hole that like once the hole is being pierced So I don't know how true that is. I'm just going by what they're saying, but that would make sense because this machine is Perfect, there's no clogs in this machine and this machine is only about six months old. We got this about six months ago and that's why when we were having the issue, I kept saying, that's weird how this is causing a problem. I mean, like six months later, I go, that's weird. And like I said, we've never had a problem with the, um, with the uh, Walmart K-Cups before until the last recent batch. We got a case of 96 and almost seems like, like maybe six out of 10 pods had this problem. I don't know. Like I said, if it's, if it's the K-Cups, or it's just my imagination, or maybe it's something else, but it's weird because, like I said, I put a Walmart K-Cup a couple times in here. I think we used this four times, and once it had coffee grinds in the cup, and this is a brand new unit, so it shouldn't be doing that. So chances are it could be the K-Cup from Walmart. So, uh, Walmart, if you're seeing this, I'm sure you've gotten complaints already. But yeah, why don't you check the K-Cups and see if, if maybe the K-Cups are at fault. Who knows? You know, I mean, just just double check it. You know, because Walmart does have great products, great coffee K-Cups. I mean, I've never had an issue with them, but just like double check and just see. You know, because I had to buy a new Keurig thinking it was my Keurig that was broken. And my Keurig is not broken because I also had somebody else take a look at it. And then I figured, well, now that I have the new one, I could do a video on the old one. In case I happen to break this, I have something to fall back on. <laughs> so, guys, hey, I hope this helps you out a little bit. Again, I'm Michael with the H&M Reviews channel. Stay true to one another and shake your neighbor's hand, guys. Click that subscribe button. Click the bell icon so you never miss an upcoming video. And again, smash that like button, guys. Peace out.